In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an interactive panel uh, or slider panel that can contain different bits of information um, for your users to then interactively click between um, in order to see what they want. So for example, if you were doing lots of information about different online services, then you might have um, like almost like a page or a slider panel for each of the services that you're describing. And you can put pretty much anything you like inside each panel. You could put text, pictures, videos. So it's quite a nice way of being able to um, reduce the amount of information that's shown on a page. So if you've got a big sort of built up page, you can break it right down um, into uh, much less content on the page um, by having the user click between each one. Um, so, let me take you through the steps. First off, you're going to go to Insert and um, Interactive Object and Slider. And there are lots to choose from, and um, there are lots, they're sort of designed up with graphics and with little text bits and stuff. And to be perfectly honest with you, um, they're all a bit of a faff because they come with so many extra bits um, that unless you really want them, um, I would just go with under Landscape, go with this utterly plain one on the end. Press OK and just drag where you want it on your page. Okay, so, so far so good. Got a nice big panel um, and it's completely empty. Now with the panel selected, uh, and this by the way is really helpful, here is your site, this is your, this is your site and all your pages. This under objects is all of your objects and it will show you what's within your, your panel. Um, with your panel selected, your toolbar up here changes and we get some options so we can name the panel and uh, or the slider and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of that and uh, I'm going to do give it a sensible name um, like uh, well you'll see why I'm going to call it this in just a second cat slider um, and you can choose different uh, panels so foreground is something that um, is going to appear um, in the front of um, your slider so whatever is showing underneath it if you've got something on the foreground, it'll always show. So um, you could put something on there if you wanted. Um, up to you. Um, but um, I'm just going to jump straight into. Now we get two panels by default, which is a nice start. So I'm going to click on. So I've got panel one selected. Um, and you can literally just start drawing, putting stuff in within that panel. Uh, as long as it's within the panel, it will remain part of the panel. So uh, here is the information for my first panel. And you can, you know, you can do everything you would expect. So you can resize your text. Um, you can put in some um, objects. So maybe we might want to actually uh, give this panel a nice kind of lurid background color. Uh, and let's just set it back one. So it's still part of my panel, but it's behind my text. And I'm going to add in uh, an image as well. And it'll soon be apparent why it's called Cat Slider. So I'm going to put that in. And let's grab some lol cats and drop them in. I'm in your Wikipedia editing your articles. And there's my first panel. And I can test it works by clicking on the outside of the panel. And I can press next and it all disappears. So all of that's in my first panel within my slider. OK, time for our second one. Let's use another nice little box coolio and let's make this another color brilliant excellent and i'm going to put some text over this one so uh here's another oops another picture of a cat for you to enjoy from 2016 and i'm going to insert a picture oops log cat 2 open, fantastic, that's that, uh, and again we can just check things are working by clicking on our, oops, on our slider, so we've got, oops, ah, didn't mean to do that, so we've got that one, got that one. Uh, I've run out now, you've no doubt noticed, so I'm going to, because um, I've used two, so I'm going to add another panel, and for this one we're going to add another uh, nice kind of background uh, colour, let's make this one maybe, yeah, kind of blue, and 
another photograph and I'm not even going to bother with some text on this one because you get the idea. So we've got our slider and this is where it's really useful to have this objects thing because you can it's quite hard to select the slider itself sometimes and that's what you need if you're going to make any changes here and use these buttons. Um, so currently um, if we were to just preview this it would simply um, it should just autoplay and loop through. So if I leave it alone, yeah, it just will just rotate around, which isn't ideal if you're using this to have um, different bits of information and you want the user to be able to control its motion. So let's make some changes. With your panel um, or your slider selected, go to um, Actions, and under Options, we can change some things. So first of all, we can give it some uh, nice animation style. So you might want it to slide in from the right, or from the bottom, or you might want it to um, sort of fade in. I'm going to just do it from the right. I'm going to switch off autoplay um, because I don't want um, it to just start off moving things straight away. Um, OK, press OK. Now, we need, I'm going to add some links down here that sort of say uh, show me panel one or show me, you know, info one, info two, info three. So. Let's do that. Let's just get some text. Show me information one. Now, obviously, you wouldn't call it something so rubbish as that. Yours would probably be something like, uh, I don't know. Um, let's say you were doing communication. You might be using um, this to have one with, filled with information about uh, WhatsApp. And another one might be filled with information about uh, using messaging um, so you know whatever you however you might want to lay it out is up to you and whatever information you might want to put in is up to you but here we go I've got three buttons now I can't actually make these uh, change my panel straight away because in serif you can only make text hyperlink to other pages but I can insert hotspots over the text and that's what I'm going to do. So I insert a hotspot, and I say to the hotspot I want it to be an action hotspot, and the action I want is a slider one. I want it to act on cat slider, and I want to set it to go to panel number one. OK, OK. And we're going to do the same again. I'm going to insert a hotspot over this one. It's an action, it's a slider action, and it's cat slider, and this one goes to panel number two. And I'm going to insert another hotspot and put that over there. And that's going to a slider called cat slider again, panel number three. Notice, actually, let's just go back. I just, you know, just want to show you something. Um, if I edit that, I didn't have to just choose a panel number. I could have set up um, hotspots over labels that said play or pause or previous, next, or forwards, backwards, first, last, and I could have made different controls. But because I particularly want to be able to jump to any panel of interest, I've chosen to use the panel numbers. Right, let's see if it works. I'm going to preview it. So I'm on my first one, and I click on number two, and it changes to number two. Click on number three, change to number three, number one, number three, number two, number one. See, I can do it in any order I like. So that is how you set up um, an animated interactive panel or slider panel that your readers can use to get more information without it feeling like you've got a really, really big ebook. Over to you.